In today's video, I'm bringing you 5 facts about Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 YGO. In today's video, 5 facts about Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. Chaos Emperor Dragon is a level 8 dark attribute dragon and effect type monster with 3000 attack and 2500 defense. Its effect is that it cannot be normal summoned or set, must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing one light and one dark monster from your graveyard. You can pay 1000 life points, send all cards in both players hands and on the field to the graveyard that inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent for each card sent to the graveyard by this effect. Awesome. But before I get into the facts, if you enjoy this video, let me know by smashing that like button. Let's see if we can hit 350 likes on this video. So with that being said, here are the facts. Both of the Envoy cards, being Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End and Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning, hint at epic style poems that tell stories of heroic knights and warriors fighting against dragons, who were portrayed as really powerful and evil creatures in medieval times. A good example would be Beowulf, when he went to fight against a dragon in his last quest before his death. In Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Bastion Mazawa stated that this card was so powerful that it had to be banned from official tournaments, which makes Chaos Emperor Dragon one of the very few cards that is forbidden in both the anime and the real life card game. Though we did see Kaiba use this card against Siegfried von Schrauder during his Grand Championship tournament. This suggests that either the card was banned after this duel, or that it didn't matter since their duel wasn't an official match of the tournament. Or maybe because Kaiba screws the rules because he has money. Think about it. This card is the rival of Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning, as both look to be complete opposites of each other by their theme and appearance. This is obviously further supported by the fact that Kaiba uses this card and Yugi uses Black Luster Soldier. This sets up a rivalry between the cards, since Yugi and Kaiba have of course, great rivals throughout the anime. You could also say that this card has a lot of similarities to Kaiba's Blue Eyes White Dragon, in terms of its level, attack, defense, and type all being the same. Chaos Emperor Dragon appears in the artworks of Chaos Seed, and it is also one of five known monsters that have the ability to completely destroy all the opponent's cards from their hand and field. And apologies in advance because I will, and I will butcher these names, but the other monsters are Sky Scourge Norlorus, Sophia Goddess of Rebirth, Ocean Dragon Lord Neo Daedalus, and Tiara Source of Destruction. I hope I did that right. Leave me a comment in the section below if I didn't tell me to learn how to read, and of course if I missed out any monsters in that fact that have the same ability. Once again, leave it in the section below. The background circle on this and Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning make references to Dark and Light. Also, both Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning and this card have a less powerful version of themselves known as the Sky Scourges. Sky Scourge Enrise and Sky Scourge Norlorus. The Sky Scourges have similar effects and summoning requirements to the Envoys, although their removal of monsters from the graveyard is both type and attribute specific. But thanks for watching, this was my video 5 facts about Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. If you want more Yu-Gi-Oh fact videos, character deck profiles, duels and more, hit that subscribe button right now. If you found value in today's content, hit the like button, share this video with a friend or leave me a comment in the section below. I'm on social media too so let's connect over there. But once again, thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video. Take care.